you. Oh, fun. Huh? Well, thanks so much, guys. We are live here this morning cooking up some pizza, but we're not cooking up your average pizza. We are making Chicago deep dish style pizza from a Chicagoan himself. Chicagoan? Chicagoan? What do they say that? Chicago Inn. Chicago Inn. Dennis Mayer was born, not born, raised in Chicago. Born there. Born and raised in Chicago. We are making authentic deep dish style pizza. But you don't have to go to Chi Town to buy it. You can get all of this stuff at Publix and make it right there in your own kitchen. So, Dennis, what is the first step? Of course, we got to have the crust. But how do you yeah, make the, the crust for a deep dish crust, pizza? The crust is made from cornmeal, all purpose flour, oil, butter. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you let it rise, of course, yeast and sugar. Sure. Okay? And, of course, we've got this deep pan. You take it and you, 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 you bring it up to the edge, like mm -hmm. you see uh, in some of these uh, commercials for pizzas. That's not, <laughs> that, that's not <laughs> We're that. making it authentic this morning. This is, this is the real deal. Uh, mozzarella cheese, I do not use shredded mozzarella cheese. I was going to say, this is a different type. This is boar's head, comes in a loaf, Publix has it. I have it. We're the only two people that do have it mm, in China. And boar's yeah. head is so yummy. Okay. So do you just cover the whole first layer well, of cheese? What we do, what we, that's exactly what we do. Mm. Okay, so in Chicago, cheese goes on the bottom instead of on the top. Huh. So, now why is that? Well, you're going to find out when we're done here, but it, it, it gives it, it just gives it a layer of flavor that's just unbelievable. Okay, a little backwards, yeah. but if you're in Chicago. It's, it's, we're all backwards. <laughs> okay, in... Um, now what is I this? Make, this is sausage. Now here's a real trick you guys can do. You can buy sausage, which I which you can do. Sure. And you can roll it out into a sheet. Uh, that way and again, like way, the cheese, right, and then every you can bite. Cover the exactly. Every uh -huh. bite has sausage. Now is this is this frozen? Is this I froze it because it's hard to work with if you don't. Gotcha. So okay. we pull it out of the freezer and we take it and we just plop it in the top here. I noticed okay. you had to cut a few of the trimmings off over we here. We take the trimmings, and I give that to the employees. <laughs> That's my breakfast. <laughs> That's my woman here. She's, she's on the ball here today. Okay, so again, just filling in all the corners, all okay. the crevices. That's all. Now, fundamentally, this is the whole thing, but folks, this weighs about six pounds. Oh. Now. There goes our waistlines. I only use the finest. This is San Marzano whole peeled tomatoes. So we're not talking tomato sauce here. This is no. an entire tomato. No, we don't use tomato sauce. Okay. Ah. In Chicago, we're going to break this up. See what we're doing? He's got the gloves on, so I'm going to let you do this. Yes. Break it up. Mm. And oh, it smells so San Marzano good. is a region in Italy mm. that produces some of the finest plum tomatoes in the world. Now, I thought we were talking Chicago here. You're What's taking that? us across the country? Taking you to Italy. To Italy to make Chicago pizza? Sure. Okay. Now... See what we've done here? Again, just spreading them all around. Let's That's hold it. this up for the folks there at home. That's as many tomatoes as we use? That's all you need. Oh, wow. Okay. Sometimes, folks, less is better. We're going to put some mushrooms on here because... Mm, I love who mushroom yeah, Who doesn't pizza. like mushrooms? So what's okay. that, about, about a cup, half a cup? Half a cup. I need then, measurements. I, I'm a recipe girl. I'm learning how to cook. Then we sprinkle a little Parmesan cheese. We're finished. That's we're gonna, it? We're going to throw this in the oven. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to show you a Sicilian pizza that I just got done with. There you go. Again, we were a little late this morning getting out here, but guys, it smells absolutely delicious. Okay. I am so excited for that pizza to be done, but we are going to talk the difference between that Chicago deep dish pizza and a more traditional Sicilian pizza, but it's not just got cheese and pepperoni on top. We're going to tell you all about it coming up live here on Good Day in just a few minutes. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to Good Day, everyone. We are talking about my favorite food, of course, is pizza. Now, we don't have a taco pizza this morning, but we do have a few unconventional pizza toppings that you in Southwest Georgia might not have ever heard about. We've got some crazy ones on top of this pizza here. Pretty much. Uh, what we did was we made a, a, a Sicilian pizza, okay. but not in a pan. We huh. made it on a sheet pan. I say this looks kind of like See? a cookie sheet. Yeah, it's not. It, it, it didn't stick. Why can we do that? Because it's crust pizza. Okay. Okay. But it's not pan pizza. It's I just mean, a thick crust. No, what would pizza. be the I mean, obviously a pan pizza is made in a pan. Right. That's the kind of thing that you get at the local pizza place. Okay. Okay. Sicilian pizza is a more free form, mm. which is 
Mama does whatever she wants to do, you know. <laughs> and whatever. of course, Sicilian, we're talking Sicily, Italy. We're talking Parma, yeah. Who are the yeah. creators of the pizza. Yeah, yeah. it started in uh, Napoli and uh, worked its way down to Sicily. This oh. is Sicilian. Yummy. Uh, in nature. So. And now I've been to Italy a few times, and let me tell you guys, their pizza is incredible. It is. So we're trying our we're trying our, our best here. But let's talk about these toppings that we've got okay, on it. These I've are done, huge pepperonis. Yes, these are called sandwich pepperonis. Publix. It's like the size of my face. This is Boar's Head Publix. Okay. Okay. Once again, never use shredded mozzarella. It's a low grade cheese. Hmm. Always use the whole milk, high fat content. Yummy. Get all those yeah, flavors in get there. Get the really good stuff. And then you have Italian ham. Um, and bacon, which is called pancetta. Okay. Uh, if you saw shows a couple weeks ago, I was on with Kelly, mm -hmm. and we did some hamburgers with pancetta. Yeah, that would be perfect for a hamburger. Yeah, yeah, you put it on there, it's round, it's ready to go. But it's kind of like a giant pepperoni. Sure. But it's bacon flavored? Yes. Yummy. It is bacon. It's pork belly that's rolled up. Oh, okay. Okay, and then, you know, hung for about three months. Yummy. Get yeah, all those flavors in there. And then we have... So a little bit of mushrooms and some spinach mm -hmm. and, and other things. So you can cut this any way you want to. All right. Serve it any now, way which you is want your to. favorite? Do you use the, the pizza slicer? I do. Uh, I, I don't do it well and I don't do it often. That's but, all right. But you know, we won't tell anyone. Do. We won't judge you. But all of these. See, it cuts. It, and it it'll cut well. Okay. So there you have. Oh. Okay. Right, let's hold this up. Can I hold this up and show everybody sure. at home? Sure. Sure. I just want to show. We're going back to that thick crust. I just want to eat this whole thing right now. Gonna <laughs> I'm going to, right as soon as we go off air. But it's thick, it's huge. Now, the difference between this, what did you call this? A, this, is a, this is a thick crust, thick crust Sicilian pizza. pizza. Now, the difference between a okay. thick crust and pizza. And, okay. Okay, let's get there. We're going to pizza, you know what, okay? What they do is they take a similar crust and they put it in a pan, but they mash it down. I see. Okay? And they serve it to you in a pan. Gotcha. There you have pan pizza. Makes sense. Then we now, got this, yeah. which is the thick crust. And we want to pull out the deep dish yeah. real quick because we're running out of time here. that behind you. And we want to show the folks the deep dish. I mean, we're talking thick, this is, this high is ma sides. Ma major crazy. And we got one last flavor. Oh, my goodness, guys. It smells absolutely delicious. Maybe we should have let this cook a little bit longer, but we want to get it out to you guys there at home. Because right. look at all that cheese. Here mm. is, yeah, mm. this is this is crazy good. You have your sausage. That's and all the, cooked and, on the And the, the fat is rendering out of the sausage, so it's getting flavor to the crust. There you go. Guys, we're not talking diets this morning, but mm -hmm. we've got a few different types of pizza out here this morning. Again, everything that we use to make these pizzas live this morning on Good Day, you can buy at Publix and make there in your own Absolutely. kitchen. Absolutely. Guys, i got to start eating breakfast. <laughs> Back to you guys in the studio.